Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're playing the Game of the Gods. Game of the Gods. Game of the Gods. Game of the Gods. And we are in Typhoon's Cavern, the famous Titan Typhoon. And one thing I've mentioned in God of War One, which is kind of inaccurate, and I'm gonna, I'm here to correct today, is when we first we're, we're heading into the Temple of Pandora in God of War One, I had mentioned that. Um, all the Titans had been killed. Well, that's not necessarily true. Um, the Titans are still alive. It's just they were all taken as slaves from Zeus. And Zeus had them all do horrible tasks. To, you know, like, torturous tasks. Like, for example, Kronos had to carry the Temple of Pandora on his back. So that's kind of what I meant when I said that. I don't know why I said that they were all dead. I probably misspoke or whatever. But anyways, it's not important. Back to where we're at now. We're in Typhoon's Cavern as we landed here from the... Not the Phoenix. What the hell is those birds called? The Griffin, whatever. And uh, basically, um, in God of War 1, you might remember we got help from all the gods. Well, the gods are not on our side now. So we're going to be getting help from all the Titans, hopefully. Not that they were all... That they would all cooperate. But we're going to get help for them to become powerful enough again so that we can finally take on um, Zeus for all his b bitchiness. Taking away all our powers, that bastard. He backstabbed us. Backstabber. Oh boy. The birdie! Oh yeah, more enemies, baby. Give it to me. So, these stupid enemies on the tower, the good thing is you can actually destroy the tower and knock the enemies down. So that's a little positive over there. So you don't have to be tortured by all these arrows all the time. And we're gonna, oh boy. <laughs> Rip your body apart. Rip your body apart. And you, I'm gonna stab you. There you go. Sorry, I get, I get very into my game sometimes. I can't help it. Oh, that was a nice dodge right over there. Um, crap. I didn't get his orbs. That. Oh wow, his orbs still came to me. Cool. I'll take anything I can get, I guess. Okay, now. Climb up. Oops. Not like that. Do, 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 Kind of a pain in the ass. They make you go through these little tiny obstacles just to get up. But anyways, this is a pretty cool area. It's a very short area. And that's one thing I do like about God of War 2 that I didn't like about God of War 1. God of War 2 actually separates the areas a bit. There's multiple areas, not just one. Like, God of War 1 spent most of the time... If you remember, in the Temple of Pandora, so kind of like how they made it a little more even, I guess. We and there's a lot of treasure chests and secrets to get in this area. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss any of them before I leave. Oh my God! <laughs> God of war, you live. I no longer walk with the gods. Who has placed you in this torment? Zeus. My only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal as punishment. He made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this cursed bird. And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. That's terrible. <laughs> and 
gets regenerated. That is an awful curse to have. And everyone calls Zeus a heroic figure. He's an ass. Please, ghost of Sparta, release me from my torment. You know what, he's right. I might be Kratos, and I might be a complete ass. You know, because Kratos is an ass, but no one deserves that kind of torture. So let's kill him. Or not. Oops. Sorry, man, I meant to kill you, but apparently uh, I missed. <laughs> Alright, guys. Anyways, what you want to do here is you want to go down the chain. And you can't really do anything with Prometheus yet. That's who he is, by the way. You might recognize Prometheus, the historical figure. We'll be back from later, so we'll just leave him hanging there for a little bit. While we go take care of our business. Help me, Kratos. Help me. I can't, because there's a ton of platforming to be done. Holy crap. Wow, you could, I can still hear him from all over here? That's pretty epic. Alright, I'm assuming, yep, more enemies. I kind of figured. Kill them all! Boy, I really need this freaking uh, blade to be upgraded. It is so weak right now. Alright. Get down here. Oh, more enemies, huh? Oh, that is sick! Get off of me! Threw him against the other guy. I, 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 I gotta give him credit. I, I like all the little additions into God of War 2. That God of War 1 didn't have, I gotta admit. Alright, they have a safe point here. I'm not using it right now. Let's see if I can figure out where the hell I'm going. Oh my god, more enemies? Cut it out. Jeez. There you go, the slam pound. That always works every time things are going bad. So that's kind of cool. You can knock them all off the cliffs and you still get your orbs. Okay, over here we get... Our third Gorgon's Eye. Three more and we increase our maximum health. And I'm aware of the Seeker over here as well. We can't get that yet. We'll be back for that. So let's just continue. Uh -huh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. That is my favorite move, I think, in this entire game, slamming him against the wall. <laughs> Something is just very satisfying about it. I don't know what. Okay. This looks promising. Ooh. There's a health meter here, or a health container. Should we get it? No. Unlike uh, God of War 1, I'm actually trying to be a little smarter with my health in this game. And rightfully so, because... As you know, you know, it's I'm playing it on normal, it's not easy mode anymore. Okay, now you'll notice this here. You're probably like, how the hell do I get that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. What you gotta do here is you gotta slide on there, and then... See, just like that. Pretty easy container to get. A lot of people miss it. And we get our first Phoenix Feather. Sweet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there another one? Or is that technically our first one? Boy, I don't even know. Hmm. I guess that's technically our first Phoenix Feather. Could have sworn I, I should have had one before, but I don't think so. I forget a lot of the secrets of the game. It doesn't matter. They put excessive extras just in case, but... I'll find out as I continue through this cavern. I'll remember. All I know is I think I'm supposed to leave with, like, all but one Gorgon Eye before maximizing my health, and I think three Phoenix Feathers. The two... Oh, man. Gorgon. Speaking of Gorgon's eyes. I hate these things. Passion. Is it that? Goddamn gaze. Like it? Damn it! Cut that out! I hate the stone thing. 
Wait until my sword gets stronger. You're gonna pay, lady. Ow. Oh, yeah? Here's what I think of your beam. Ah, oh, I missed. I'll try that again. Now, unlike the first game as well, they don't give you magic. Or maybe it's because I don't have a magic team yet, but... As of right now, they give me red orbs and no magic. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. Damn it! Cut it out! Oh, now we gotta deal with bats too? Hard time here. Uh. God damn it. It's funny, I don't remember this much struggle against these stupid gorgons. I'm having a hell of a hard time right now. There, take one of them out at least. That's one down. Where's the other one? Take you out too, buddy. Ah, shit. There. Man, that was a long, ruthless battle. Whew. That was tough. Alright, let's see now if I remember where I gotta go. I think. Oh, poor bats. There you go. I was wondering why he didn't do the little trigger scene. Okay, now you can actually <coughs> shining objects. You are able to break or interact with objects that shine, like this one. Let's see, and lots of orbs. Can we have enough to upgrade anything yet? Not yet. We're close to being able to upgrade Athena's blades. Very close. But no cigar yet. Ah, much needed health container. Thank you. Alright, this part. <laughs> Typhon's Cavern. I keep I call them Typhoon the Knights. Typhon. My bad. There you go with the blowing. So this is like, uh, I guess, the Titan of Wind or something, but if you try to run against his wind, it actually pulls you back, so you gotta be very careful here and time your running, because you will blow you right off the board and it'll be a game over. So now we run, barely make that first jump, and the key here, because you're gonna be attacked with bats, is to stand in the middle of these pillar slash platforms and kill them just by jumping straight up and attacking. Not anything crazy like attack while you're moving on the ground because you'll end up going right into that mess. Alright, ready? Go. Now. There you go. We made it to the next platform. Man, we get more bats. I keep calling them bats. They're freaking, uh... What the hell is the name of Harpies. I gotta stop calling them bats. This isn't freaking Castlevania here, okay? Although they're just as annoying. Both Castlevania in this game, Harpies, Bats, both equally annoying, I guess. Okay, next platform. And you just gotta keep doing that and keep uh, avoiding the stupid wind blow. Oh boy, see? See what happens when you attack on the ground? I almost uh, attack my way right into death. Okay, ready? No, there's still another bat alive. Coming to the pop up. Get up to Kratos. There you go. Alright, good time to run. And we made it. Now we can uh, be a little more reckless over here. Stupid ass freaking flying creatures. God, do I hate it. Now here you gotta be careful again. Because even though it doesn't look like it, you can still be blown right off. So let's wait. Run. 
barely made it. Uh oh, he's mad. He's angry. But guess what? I don't care if you're angry. I'm Kratos, biatch. That is one scary guy. Let's go say hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Damn, man. Kratos didn't even say hi. He just went right there. But guess what, guys? We got Typhon's Bane. We stole an arrow, I mean, uh, a, a freaking, what you call it, a bow and arrow, or bow, a bow gun, from his freaking eyeball. That is so cool. I'm sorry, Typhon, I had to do it, buddy. I know it hurts to hurt your eye, but we're on a mission here. Alright, hold down the L2 to activate Typhon's Bane. It's just like our other one from the other game. Then, X to fire, just like the other game. And right now we have infinite magic just so we can test it, and that's it. I'm sorry! I think I made him a little angry. <laughs> uh oh, enemies! Good time to test their bow! Let's test it! With our infinite magic! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you like it, you like it. Now we're gonna get nowhere if we keep doing this, so let's actually tear some stuff apart. Ah, uh, of course, there's guys in a long distance that I can't reach. Damn it! Kill him! There. I love how the orbs fly all the way across. Oh, you've collected enough orbs to power up your weapons. Sweet! Nice, that's like perfect timing too. Alright, cool. Alright, so here's how we do it. Just like the other game, we are upgrading Arthena's Blades. It is now level 2 and we get new abilities. First of all, increased damage, Rampage of Furies, L1 plus O, and Rampage of Furies in Air. Let's contribute to the world. Cool. Pretty sweet. Nice. And that's the Air one. Alright, let's finish taking out these stupid uh, archers here, real quick. Their infinite magic scope. You will all die. Alright, now a lot of people miss this before we leave this area, and that's if you hang down and to the right here, you can actually go and there's a little secret area here. Now you want to do is you want to grab enemies and press... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. Damn it. There you go. Grab enemies and aim them towards the fire and throw them in there. There you go. More. And uh, the reason for that is after you throw five guys in there, it'll actually melt all the ice around those treasure. I think it's five or six or something. It'll melt all the ice around the treasure chest. See, there you go. It all melted. There, you can go in there too, buddy. Yeah, baby. Sorry, I know that must have hurt. And now we have access to these secret treasures. Orbs. More orbs. More orbs. And their second Phoenix Feather. Now I'm starting to remember we actually didn't miss any Phoenix Feathers, so we're on we're on good uh, good track here. Can't do anything here, even though it looks like you can smash it. So let's continue. We got Typhon's Vein. And take a wild guess what we're going to be using this uh, <laughs> bow and arrow for. Huh? Any ideas? How about to put someone out of their misery? How's that sound? <laughs> Okay. Beautiful. Now, you want to smash all these rocks because you get a million orbs for doing it. Let's see, isn't it pretty? 
Oh yeah. Who's your daddy? Who is your daddy? Let's see. Yeah, why not? Alright guys, we're at 20 minutes here, so I'm gonna stop the episode here. In our next episode, we're gonna get two more little secrets in this area. Right outside, and then we'll head out of here and save Prometheus, put him out of his torture. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for our next episode of Let's Play God of War 2, that is. Later, guys.